right, so there you were here. Okay. I'll come back later. Oh no, come on in. We've got a drink if you'd like one. Yeah, yeah. Just about a bottle from the gate. Oh, not at this time of the day, thanks. No, he's only pulling your leg. Sit down. Uh, we're just about to have some tea. Oh, that sounds more like it. Um, you know I told you I was meeting Jill Bates to talk about this shop of hers. Well, she never turned up. Well, I've tried ringing her house and I can't get to reply. I'm scared something's happened to her. She's had an accident or something. I'm sure there's a perfectly simple explanation. Yeah, but you want to try sitting in an empty flat trying to think of it. Oh, oh Phil's back at school, of course. Worse, he's going straight on to Sid Bullard. Won't be back till after ten. Well, uh, why don't you come out with us? No, I wouldn't dream of it. You're very welcome. No, I just popped in for a bit of comfort about Jill. Now I've got that off my chest, I feel much better. Well, then, uh, what are you going to do with yourself all evening? Ah, uh, you won't tell Phil, promise? Yes. Well, you won't, will you? Won't what? You won't tell Phil. Uh, oh, no, of course you won't. Y yeah, as uh, long as it's not another man. Oh, you. I'm writing a story. A story? Or oh, a book, you mean? No, just a short story, like you read in women's magazines. Oh, very exciting. You must let me read it. Actually, I'm hoping to sell it. I got so fed up during the summer with Phil being out every evening, I just had to do something. Thanks. Better than staying home watching the telly. Well, I'm hoping to sell it so we can buy a telly. 